Hello everyone and welcome to Early Morning Prayer Request and Devotions. I hope everybody's doing great this morning. On our prayer request today, Tiffany's Aunt Linda was in a bad car accident. Pray that she'll be okay. Yeah. Let's see. Jackie's test results showed no cancer or tumors. She said thanks for the prayers. Pray for Danielle and her husband Michael is having bumps in some of the surgeries. Please keep them lifted. Okay. Alright, our scripture of the day today comes from Galatians 5, 14 and 15, then 22 through 26. Okay. For the entire law is fulfilled in keeping this one command. Love your neighbor as yourself. If you bite and devour each other, watch out or you will be destroyed by each other. And 22 through 26. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things there is no law. Those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. Since we live by the Spirit, let us keep in step with the Spirit. Let us not become conceited, provoking, and envying each other. Amen. All right, and our devotion today is entitled, Sharing by Caring. The young pastor prayed every morning, asking God to use him that day to bless someone. Often to his delight, such a situation arose. One day during a break at his second job, he sat in the sunshine with a co-worker who asked him about Jesus. The pastor simply answered the other man's questions. No rant, no arguing. The pastor commented that being guided by the Holy Spirit led him to have a casual talk that felt effective but loving. He made a new friend as well, someone hungry to learn more about God. Letting the Holy Spirit lead us is the best way to tell others about Jesus, he told his disciples. You will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you, and you will be my witnesses. The fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Living under the Spirit's control, that young pastor put into practice what Peter instructed. Always be prepared to give an answer to anyone who asks you to give the reason for the hope that you have, but do this with gentleness and respect. Even if we suffer for believing in Christ, our words can show the world that His Spirit leads us. Then our walk will draw others to Him. What's your communication style when telling others about Jesus? How would letting the Holy Spirit lead make you, your talks more effective? As I tell others about Jesus, please lead, lead me, Holy Spirit, to speak with your love. And Lord, I want to pray today for everyone on our prayer list. Please help all of them with their different needs. In Lord's name I pray. Amen. I hope you all enjoyed this early morning prayer request and devotions. If you did, I hope you'll press that like button. Also, subscribe if you haven't already and share this out. And hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Everybody, I hope you have a great morning. And I'd love to see you later on a morning coffee break. Bye, everyone, and God bless.